Hi everybody and welcome to my channel Enlightened Tarot. Uh, thank you for coming over to watch the video. A big thank you to everyone liking and subscribing. Um, I've just seen a huge rise um, in a short space of time and it's amazing to see. So thank you very much for that. It does mean a lot. Um, I'm really blessed to have such support uh, so quickly. So thank you. Okay, so we're looking at the Twin Flame Energies for December 2016. Um, I wanted to use the uh, Romance Angels Oracle card, which I've used a few times before, um, just so that we could get a straightforward message uh, for us on this journey. Okay, and the um, the four that came out were very positive, um, in that the true love, okay, the connection, the intense divine connection between you and your twin, is there forever. Okay, it's long lasting. This has come through many past lives. This connection. Okay, you were always one you are always one even if you're apart you are always one okay so true love divine connection you and your twin okay because this is the one that the one that we felt this connection with is the one some of you may have already met you know your twin some of you um may be due to meet your twin uh, everyone has got a different um journey everybody's got a different lesson to learn okay so there's no one set way there's nothing set in stone for the way it has to be. So you just need to go off your inner guidance as to, you know, what journey you are on, okay, and trying to enjoy it along the way. But for those, okay, who've already met their twin, he or she is the one, okay? So you did feel that connection. They also felt the connection, okay? Very intense divine love connection. Now, another great card to clarify going forward uh, for December, just to say, for those who are still waiting, they are coming about, okay, this is going to happen, but it's important to, um, to stay in alignment, okay, to focus on who you are, um, to still give yourself that self-love and respect to yourself, so that you can bring this, this in, okay, so... We have to be, um, you know, still focused on ourselves as well, more than anything, so that we don't put blockages in the way. We want this to manifest as soon as possible. Okay, so it's uh, important to stay grounded, to meditate, to keep the mind clear, to know that the, you know, synchronicities of your life path are happening without you having to do too much work apart from looking after yourself, okay? The opportunity will come along for you and your twin to be in contact and communicate okay so don't worry about any of this process because it just puts blockages there and the fourth card here is to say that worth waiting for okay so this is just to to let you know that it's divine guidance okay we can't control any of this this is going to happen when it is meant to happen okay there's you know you've got your twin You've got lots of things from the past with your twin uh, for some of you you've got stuff in your past you know things need to be cleared things take time it won't be done overnight okay so that's the reason why you're being guided by divine guidance just because there's things you know in each other's path that we need to clear so that we can be um, moving forward with our twin positively without any hindrances or any blockages from the past okay so your guides will be working on that okay so I've used a few uh, different ones here uh, I've pulled the energy oracle card by Sandra Ann Taylor another great deck um, and here three cards came out with that this is you and your twin you know this is just letting you know, appreciate who you've become and your twin is there for you. You know, showing his emotions to you, opening up to you when the time is right. When the time is right. Okay. So, you know, enjoy knowing that this is going to happen. Enjoy that moment in, in your mind to, to think this is going to happen. You know, there's no set way of, um, you know, how it's going to happen and, and what happens on the day of the meeting. It's just a case of you two will come together and that's all you really need to know. Just to enjoy the moment of knowing that you two will come together. Okay. 
This can obviously be both male, both female. It doesn't matter. It's just to show two people coming together. Okay? Two of you coming with that divine connection that you two hold so great for each other. Okay? So respect yourself. Appreciate yourself. Respect and appreciate. Okay? You two will come together when it's the right time. So this is still very much an ongoing process and still on track. Okay? And this will be the outcome for many of us. Happy family card. You know, coming together. Some of you may have uh, children already. You've been making that family. Look at the rainbow. You know, the, the clear skies here at the top. Okay? You've made it. You've made it. Past so many challenges. You know, you've gone through so much. You've become a different person because of it. You are not the same person that you were maybe 10, 15 years ago. If you look back, you're a completely new person. And so will your twin be as well. They would have learnt a lot. Okay, you, you two have come together to start a new purpose. A new mission. Okay. Now just to say that if these things of coming together don't manifest for you, you know, it's because of the anxieties and the blockages that are caused by the anxieties and the worry. Okay, if the chakras are blocked, there's no flow. Okay, and when there's no flow, none of this can happen until you're in full alignment with yourself and fully love who you are so that whatever happens in life, nothing can break you, nothing at all. Okay, even if, and this is just for example, your twin came and your twin left and then your twin came back and then they left again. Okay, how are you going to feel? Okay, because you've done so much work on yourself, you won't be down and out and upset like you may have been 10, 15 years ago. You know, you'll deal with it differently. Okay, and the reason for the split sometimes, you're not in alignment, okay? And codependent issues come about. Uh, and lots of emotional issues that may still need to be worked on. So then you will separate and then you will work on it again. Okay, you'll both go away so that you can heal on your own. So there's always a reason things are happening. So right now, if you sat there thinking, okay, it's still not happened, I've still not even had a phone call, um, you know, no message, it's been such a long time. The reason is, is because maybe you're still thinking and overanalyzing it and not getting on with what you need to get on with because the minute you let go of this, it will come in. Okay, promise you that, it will come in. So, do what? you feel is fun for you you know go and do um, your fun activities um, whatever that may be take your mind off the process okay this is insight and guidance but then go and do you know your uh, your fun stuff so that you can take the focus somewhere else okay and let divine guidance guide you and let your guides focus on this journey for you so that you can come together when the time is right okay um i did use the um the gilded tarot here at the bottom i'll just show you these cards here going on a journey in a different path okay there's two choices there which one do you take okay whichever one you decide on will be the right one for you you can't get it wrong you'll always get on the right path for you because that will be your life lesson and experience for you on your journey. And that's why I always say to you, listen to your own inner guidance, okay? That's why sometimes I show you the cards so you can pick up something for yourself because we all have inner guidance, okay? We just need to tune into it more and listen to our first answer, okay? So whatever you, you learn elsewhere, whatever you got told elsewhere, um always tune into yourself and know that you know that is your truth that lies within okay this is guidance and insight okay but your true path lies within you okay so ten of pentacles here is just to show completion you know a lot of us are ready for this this twin flame soulmate connection this divine love 
we're ready to receive it most of us okay and choosing a new route okay a different path to go on from where you are currently okay so great cards to clarify and here i've used the angel answers again i do love these cards um, gorgeous pictures you know um gives you quite a straight answer here it says opportunity so a lot of you will be given you know that door that doorway to go through um and meet your twin okay and see how you feel when you get there because nobody can tell you how you feel you will experience it for yourself and go from what you feel what are you picking up at that time do you have feelings for your twin do you want to take it to the next stage do you want to back away everyone has got a different experience on it okay so i've given you insight as to how i felt on my um, face to face contact um, with my twin after spending just over slightly over a year apart and it was just purely a friendship as well so um and i felt romantic feelings and i felt you know love and and i still felt that strong connection so i'll kind of keep you updated with that um but know that everybody has a different experience okay but an opportunity is coming in within the next few weeks as well for a lot of us okay so those working on the alignment for those working on um staying focused um on other things um you know and not giving this too much thought and over analyzing and thinking about it day and night and losing sleep over it for those who are staying in alignment okay and going with the flow and letting things unfold naturally this will come in within the next few weeks okay so this is a gorgeous card but just know that the light is shining through for those who are still uh, working on their alignment and staying there and this is also just to say that you're ready for it okay you're ready for this you're ready for this coming in keep up with the meditations that'll be helping you so much keep on with the the grounding as well just as in connecting outdoors outside um connecting with nature you know that will ground you uh, that will release some blockages um in your chakras and let things flow okay but for most of us we're ready to receive this love we're ready to reconciliate with our twin okay and we know that we're being guided from above so that we can always um you know follow our gut feeling um our intuition um, because those will be signs and messages from our guides so when we get that feeling or we get that thought you know tune in and see if that is a message for you to take action on something because it, it more than likely will be okay so great set of cards here um just looking at them overall i'm going to use the um the Lenormand deck as i usually do at the end and let's just have a look if there's any more messages to come one sticking out here when they stick out sometimes i pull them if i uh, get the feeling to do so okay so here we've got ed cell male or female doesn't matter okay one of the twins so we'll just refer to that as yourself okay sitting here with the other okay so let's just pull a few more this one's just come out the clover happiness passion good luck um you know prosperity great card to get you know going forward and a gift okay so those coming into contact um don't fear for those on the friendship level do not fear that it doesn't get into relationship as soon as you've had first contact or second contact these things take time and it is all all about being in alignment with yourself and your twin also being in alignment okay so these things will happen at some point okay these things will happen you and your twin will come together okay gifts exchanged happiness passion abundance love pure love prosperity okay three great cards to get so the energies very strong here that the Lenormand deck has picked pick this up very well indeed okay 
So all I'm saying is don't worry about it not happening straight away because they do take time, obviously. Um, and like I said, there may be some past things to clear. Um, things that may be blocking um, the other twin or even yourself from going forward into that. But they'll be all there as an experience, okay? And how you overcome it. So if some twins, you know, are in relationships or, or married or, um, you know, living with somebody and, and have kids as well, those are things to overcome when the love is so intense, okay? When the love is so intense, when the connection is there, okay? How does your twin and you overcome these past obstacles when you two want to be together so badly okay so you know give it time don't worry too much you know um you can seek obviously advice um from uh you know other readers and things like that but always go with your own gut feeling because that is the best you know advice you're going to get your own gut feeling and like i said everybody has got it so listen to the advice from the outside if that, that's where you seek it but go from your inner guidance as well okay so the cards have been quite clear as to what's happening for december you know it's still all on track it's still all ongoing um you know the intense connection is still there and for those who are ready it's all happening within the next few weeks okay um we're just going to have a look at the daily teachings the secret and I want to try and do this at the end of the readings just so we can get further insight and to go away with positive message so that we can relax and enjoy the journey so that we can get into a reconciliation with our twin and then to seek the happy family that we want okay so I'll do whatever it takes so that we can all enjoy this journey and I'm just going to ask now for messages from this gorgeous book here by Rhonda Byrne. Ah, okay. So we had this message, the same message. Okay, so it's still continuing and I'll read it again. Um, I'll pull another message as well, but this is still ongoing. And it was a, such a, a powerful message uh, that we had, so uh, I will read it again. So as you live in the power the love and the joy of your own being you will uplift millions okay so there's a reason this message has come through again because it's saying live in the moment and live in the now as you live in the power the love and the joy of your own being okay there's only one person loving you and that's you 100 percent. okay follow your own path follow your own truth and follow your own heart Follow your own inner bliss and allow each person to follow theirs, whatever it may be. Exactly. Okay, so even if you reconciliated, okay, and it didn't necessarily get to this stage for whatever reason, know that that was meant to be. Okay, it was meant to be like that because that what was pre-agreed before you came into physical. Okay, so that's why it's saying here, Follow your own inner bliss and allow each person to follow theirs, whatever it may be. Okay, so look for the good in everyone and everything and let your love and joy radiate out to the world every day. And that is the best thing you can do. Okay, be happy inside of yourself, no matter what happens with outside events. Okay, you experience joy and you'll see so many positive things come your way. Okay, experience joy, positive thoughts so much goodness will come into your life things will manifest so fast okay because you, you're living in the now and you're happy now as you are no matter what is going on okay so these connections with other people our twin we want it all to work out we want it all to happen fast we want it all now okay it's not going to happen because there are reasons it's taking time um, for the reasons i've explained okay the guides are working on it for you so we'll just take another message. Um, that message obviously was meant to be for us. Okay. So I'll read this one here for day 136, uh, here at the bottom. It says here, negative thoughts and negative emotions need your attention and focus to stay alive. Okay. They cannot survive without your attention to them. If you ignore them, 
and refuse to give them any attention, you are taking the life out of them and they will be eliminated. Perfect. This is basically saying your negative thinking, you know, stays with inside, inside of you because you keep them alive by keep thinking about them and keep believing them. Okay? So, great messages from the daily teachings here, The Secret. Um, you know, I do love this book. You can just take it with you wherever, um, get some positive um, affirmations from it, and you're good to go, really, for the rest of the day. So, great messages, and we did get the same one, which is obviously for us to, to keep working on, to know that we need to be happy within. Okay. Okay, so I'll wrap it up there. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Um, I'll just kind of give you an overhead so you can see what we've got here. See if anything resonates with you. Okay. Okay. So I'll wrap it up there. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Um, it's really good to see it growing so fast. Uh, I wish you all love and light and I will speak to you all very soon. Thank you very much. Bye.